Shalom Israel. Shalom. All praise and great glory unto given to our Elohim. The Elohim of Israel. The Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We pay homage to our soon coming to Yahweh Shah Messiah, Emmanuel, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Believe in the baptism in the name according to the scriptures. Acts 2 38, Acts 8 and 12, Acts 8 16, Acts 10 48, Acts 19 5, Romans 63. For the book says, No name given in heaven, neither salvation, and the man cast should be what? Delivered by the name of Emmanuel. Now, I want to address something first before we go, on our, go to the lesson today. We had a post on our wall from my coach T saying we're using the name Jesus Christ like rubbing our arms with the world. Now I'm gonna let her let them hear what I say again, why address the people. First, getting the honor to the most high Yahoo to have our life our salvation to his own begotten son, who Yahweh was shot how my CIE Emmanuel, who the what called? Who the world called? Huh? Who is the world? The enemies of Yah, right? Did I say love not the world or things of the world? So who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ? That you know that Emmanuel is the name, not Jesus Christ. Ain't nobody in our in temple worshiping no God or, or, or wood and stone. The reason we call that, say that name, to address the people that know you worship an idol God if you worship in Jesus Christ. This God right here, that man made, this Edomite, Caesar Borgia, the sixth Pope of Rome, son. If you worship this guy right here, you ignorant. We commanded in scripture to cry out and do what? Spur not. So if you go around there, folks know they worship a God with a stone, you the one there. We're going to continue to say who the world called Jesus Christ. Because the world called him Jesus Christ, but his name is Emmanuel. That's his English name. Name is Hebrew name. In English, God name is God. Or they call him Lord. This English, right? Huh? You want to go to some Hebrew? His name ain't Lord. Give me the book of Psalm 64 and 8. I mean, 68 and 4. I'm going to show the most high told that we what his name was. We're going to address it before going to service to get a clear understanding. We ain't preaching to those who got their eyes open already. The book said those that, that's good don't need no what? You don't need no position. Who did man was he coming to? The lost sheep of who? The house of Israel. The lost sheep. The one who don't know who their Elohim is. What they inherit their lives. Do who we coming to. We ain't coming to those who work to the flesh. You understand? We coming to those who don't know who they are. If you worship in your flesh and you over the most high, you know somebody's word, the book said you know what? Nothing. Bring that up. Book of Psalms, chapter 68, verse 4. Uh-huh. Sing unto Elohim. Sing unto who? Elohim. Sing unto who? Elohim. But in that English, it say what? God. Well, I'm going to show you get your Hebrew Bible. You don't say the name God nowhere in the Bible. Read on. Sing praises to his name. Uh-huh. Extol him that rideth upon the heavens. Come on. By his name. What's his name? Yah. His name is who? Yah. But it's spelled what? J A H because they, they got no what it's no J in Hebrew. That's their English name for them. It's bold, ain't it? Yeah. If you get your King James Version Bible and go to the book of the book of Genesis, the book of Matthew, the first chapter, you'll see bold letters then. See, we know Isaiah 7:14. We know Matthew 1. But how many know Isaiah 8 8? Read Isaiah 8 and 8. Huh? Make it plain for you this year, but the most high got qualified people to teach his word. They don't worship wood and stone. Read that eight and eight. The book of Isaiah, chapter eight, verse eight. Uh-huh. And he shall pass through Judah. He shall overflow and go over. Mm -hmm. He shall reach even the neck, and the stretching out of his wings shall fill the breath. Of that land, mm -hmm. oh Emmanuel. Oh who? Emmanuel. Oh who? Emmanuel. Now, according to scripture, if it be any prophecy of a name, it's gonna come from Genesis through Malachi, which is the old what is the Torah. 
You understand? From Genesis, the Apocrypha included, first and second Ezra, first and second Maccabees, uh, wisdom of Solomon, prayer of Ezra, all that, addition of Esther, all that's called Old Covenant, we call it what? The Apocrypha, which means hidden because they hid your scripture. But if you get this Bible right here, the 1611 King Jan version, you don't need your own other book. You want to buy no Apocrypha because all the scriptures in this one book. The Bible have 81 books in it. King James Version. You understand? So when we say who the world called Jesus Christ, we let Israel know that man is called by the world, not by our people. How many people have came up uh, and said, might didn't even know that until you said that? The job is to open up the eyes of the 12 tribes of Israel, the bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When this image came about in the Renaissance period, when they made this man Elohim, the Bible prophesied and told you they're going to do it. Give me first Maccabees 3 and 48. Huh? We're going to show you how it's prophecy already, how the heathen going to get you and put you away, going to put you. Esau already had a plan about it. The Most High tried to warn Israel. But what we do? We still didn't want to run by our oppressors and worship these gods of stone and wood. Read that, Hebrew. First Maccabees, chapter 3, verse 48. Uh-huh. And lay open the book of the law. Who, who law it was? Israel. Come on. Wherein the heathen. The who? Heathen. He ain't no Israelite. Come on. Had sought to paint the likeness of their image. Is this not the sixth Pope of Rome, son, see your boys yeah? Is this not his image? Is this not his image? Is it not the image? Is it not the image of the sick Pope of Rome, son? This is image. This is image. The book just said the heathen. Read that verse again, huh? And lay open the book of the law. Our law. Wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their image. Here go this heathen image. And you worship this heathen. That's why we address people and say, who the world called Jesus Christ. Because he ain't no Jesus Christ. Amen. And we will continue to say that. To let Israel know, you worship a God of wood. Give me her back to 2 and 18. Matter of fact, bring me to 17, read down to 18. Two and 17. See, the Most High told Israel how to talk to Israel. Israel loved worship idol gods. The Most High said, don't put your seed through Molech. Don't get your children to them folks. People won't use that name God. The name God ain't in no Bible. If you want to know the Most High, get you a, you got a smartphone or iPhone. Go to your store to download apps. And download an app called the Bible Discovery. Download an app called Bible Discovery. In that app, it has many Bibles, many dictionaries, the Schofield, the, uh, the Smith Bible Dictionary, all of them in there. But the Bible you want is going to be called the Revised New King James Version. You don't see the name God or Lord nowhere. That name Jesus ain't in there. It go back to all the original Hebrew name. Ain't no Yahweh. Who the hell is Yahweh? That Huron Mitchell. He started that Yahweh been Yahweh miss. Most high name ain't no Yahweh. See, those don't know with no understanding going to perish for lack of understanding. Amen. Oh, we worship some other God. We, we are boasting another God name. Go put on the wall, huh? Let's address this right now. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 17. Uh-huh. For the battles against Lebanon shall cover thee. Uh-huh. And the spoil of the beasts which made them afraid because of men's blood and for the violence of the land, of the city, and of all that dwell therein. Come on. What profit? What what? Profit. What you gain? Profit is the gain, eh? Amen. 
if I start in the business, I want to profit something. I want to gain something. The more I say, say, what you gain? Come on. What profit the graven image? The graven image. Was it not written in the scripture that should have no other Elohim before me? No graven image of things in the sky, things in the water? Ain't no Elohim said Exodus 20 chapter? Amen. Say the same thing in Romans, the first chapter. There was the creature more than the creator. And the word said, Amen. Come on, up. That the maker thereof have graven it. That the heathens, the Edomites, that made you Negroes worship this image in these so called churches. What you see in these churches. This, this Edomite owned a fan. He owned almost all the fans in the churches. Huh? Is he not? Amen. Is not see your boy Jay tattooed on them fans? Go ahead. The molding image and the in a teacher of lies. It's a what? Teacher of lies. It's not Chris Stan, a teacher of lies. Amen. Chris Sanity. Make you lose your mind. It's a teacher of lies. Come on. That the maker of his work trusted therein to make dumb idols. They trust in to make what kind of idols? Dumb idols. What did they say to it? Woe unto him that said to the wood, awake. To the wood do what? Awake. Who's the wood? Christianity. Caesar Borgia. Who the world called Jesus Christ. You tell this nigga to awake. What he's working to? This is the image of the beast. What can he awake to? That what we always say. Who the world called? Yahweh Shaha Masia is his name. In English, you can say Emmanuel. Come on. To the dumb stone. That's your Allah, your Mecca. Come on. Arise. It shall teach. It gonna teach you what? We're gonna teach you how to build yourself up. You on the store, store. Yeah, you got back and blow up man. It's your own folks, man. But do what you run into. And you Zion. The children this book. Now I'm gonna show you why I'm talking about why I said you download this Bible when you don't see no names like that in the Bible at all. Now you ever holler, call them God, call them Lord, no English names. Question Hebrew. Why we got a land for English or not a, a Burgundy commandment? Burgundy commandment. Okay, now people won't say God. Here is the Bible in Hebrew text, King James Version. I wish I could see this real good and clear here. Y'all need to download this app right here. The Bible discovered. It says Genesis 1 and 1. It says, in the beginning, Elohim created the heaven and earth. Who? Elohim. When you see that word God and stuff, that's that Bible that they put God in. You get the Quaker, go back. That, that word is how we put it up. Get you a King James Bible, you'll see it say, in the beginning, Elohim created the heaven and the earth. It don't say no word God nowhere. And when you see Lord, it, it says Yahweh. Amen. Written in Master Hebrew. We above all that we, we know the names. Matter of fact, he's talking about go to Revelation 1 to see who the Son of Man. Why do that for? Give me Daniel 10 chapter. Why do you go to Revelation for to see who the Son of Man is? Daniel 10 to me how you look. You gotta get Daniel 10 to go with Revelation chapter 1. But don't have an ear let them hear what the Ruach is saying to the assembly. That word church, that's added to the Bible. If you get the King James original Bible. The Hebrew Bible you get of the Bible discovery, you see the word assembly. You'll see the word church nowhere. Stop me off, verse number five. The book of Daniel, chapter 10, verse five. Uh huh. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, uh huh, whose loins were, were girded with. Fine gold mm -hmm. of Euphrates, 
his body also was like the burly in his face as the appearance of lightning. Come on. In his eyes as lamps of fire. Uh-huh. In his arms as, and his feet. In his all uh, in his what? Feet. That's both of us, his whole body, right? Come on. In color to polished brass. Now do brass look like this? Do brass look like that? This your first prophecy. Break down him. You go down your seven top of the most high. The ancient of days. This talk about Emmanuel right here. You see the same language in Revelation 1, Revelation 2. His distinct look. You see? Israel got to know who your Elohim really is. Only thing Israel know in captivity is this boy called Jesus Christ. They don't know nothing else. Again, that's why we at Iowa Temple, we always say, who the world call? Jesus Christ. The world call him that. The most I said in English, Emmanuel. Get your brew, your hollow was shot. We don't call what the world call them because the world is intimate to Elohim. Ain't no J in Hebrew. This letter came out of the dark ages. We call it before then, huh? She had to clear it up real fast. Amen? Amen. Let's break, break in this meal, man. The book, uh, we're going to the book of Romans today, the ninth chapter. Romans 9. Here are the penis made for Israel. A lot of folks get jealous about it. You know what I'm saying? They get upset. They get mad to my y'all just bashing other nations. We ain't bashing no other nations. Other nations hate us. Go read Psalms 83. The other nations of the earth can't stand us. We ain't bashing no nations. No nations hate us. You see what I'm saying? But we're going to read to you about these chosen people who the creator has put in place to live and not die as I remember I say, why would you die when you can live? Why would the word say? Romans 9 and 1. Off. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 1. Uh-huh. I say the truth in Christ. Anointed one. Come on. I lie not. Go ahead. My conscience also burn me witness in the Ruach Kodesh. Now, he said his conscience, his thought process. It's a witness through the Ruach. Something's on Shaul mind here. Shaul's mind is wondering what's going on. He finished explaining you some things that Christianity can't grab a hold to. Israel can't grab a hold to because you brainwash in that doctrination. We're going to show you script the most high said he's going to put the illusion on you anyway because you don't want to hear what does say in your house. Go ahead. That I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. Why is that? For I could wish that myself were accused from Christ uh -huh. for my brethren, uh -huh. my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Now, we say these are child care folk, right? They're my care folk. How is your care folk? That means the same nationality you is, right? Why is who shall say your care folks is? Who are Israelites. Gentiles. Israelites. Mobites. Israelites. Hamites. Israelites. Go ahead. To whom pertaineth the oh, oh. To whom pertaineth. So everything shall from the read out belongs to who? Israel. Don't get mad at us, well, because we the chosen ones. Everything this brother for the name out pertaineth to us. Belong to us. You see, the world having their fun right now. They got their own nation, their own united, what do you call it? United Nations, Kingdom, all that. Or uh, who? World Health Organization. The world got all that already. Temporary kingdoms. You see? He said, but this thing that you see, the promises and covenants, it pertaining to Israel. Come on. The adoption. Who? 
Why we have a devil to fuck? Because we went into sin. The whole world was in sin already. The most I told Israel, you don't do these things. But if the stranger want to come in, he can't do them neither. That's why I pertained the adoption to us. Go ahead. And the glory. What glory? The glory we are the children. The glory we got our own land coming forever. Come on. And the covenants. The who? Covenants. It wasn't no covenants given to no other nation but Israel. Go ahead. And the giving of the law. The giving of the what? The law. Who gave the law to? Moshe. Mankind knew the law. But when the Mosai took Achlehem, it said, of you, I'm a great nation. They got Moshe out of Egypt. And she told Moshe, well, does say Yahweh, that law now is given to Israel. Mankind can get eternal life if they follow the law of who? Israel. That's it right there. They come to Moshe, I gave to Israel. If you follow that, you can live and not die. Come on. And the service of Elohim. Uh-huh. And the promises. The services. Oh. A Gentile can't teach the Israelite nothing about this war at all. A Gentile can't teach an Israelite nothing. I'm going to say it again about this war at all. Joseph Minor should be in pooper anyway. Israel loved that evil woman. What's up, one name like the Joker? Uh, Joel Osteen. Joel him teaching you the scripture is like a worm trying to teach an eagle how to fly. Is that possible? Can a worm teach an eagle how to fly? But you go to Joel Steve for knowledge of your own scripture. Ain't no covenant given to him. The covenant is given design. The most I, I said, he said, I gave my law to no other nation. And it'll be another Elohim. What do you say? I don't even know. So who are you serving, Zion? The chosen people. This covenant is for you, not for the world. Come on. Who are the fathers? Uh-huh. And of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came. No, he died for everybody. No, but the, the word said, oh, no, no. The word said Christ came for everybody. Then the word say, read the verse again. Whose are the fathers? Uh huh. The covenants are the fathers. Come on. And of whom, as concerning the flesh, his natural came. body, Christ only came to die for who? Israel. He didn't come to die for the whole world. When you see John 3 16, understand we're talking about back up to 15 first. Don't start on the one line, back the verses up some. He said, like Moshe, look at the serpent. Who was the trouble with the serpent? Moshe was the trouble for Israel. We're getting bitten by snakes. A concern to the flesh, Christ came and died for Israel because Israel was the only one lost. But I said before, I said again, if a nation wants to live holy and get eternal life, guess what we can do? They can follow our Elohim. But it's not given to them. It's given to Zion. This ain't racism teaching. This ain't hatred. This truth. Because guess what? In your court, Moabites, Amorites, y'all love Buddha. Hmm? That's y'all Elohim. Y'all worship him strongly. Don't give him no, don't, don't give no heed to nothing but Buddha say. And in his way, it's eternal life. Over there in India, they love Shiva. That's their goddesses. That's their eternal life. That's their eternal life. They won't want you to come and serve their God. You are infidel to them. You're unbeliever. You're nothing. This ain't hate teaching. This is reality. If any person on this earth that's breathing want to live forever, they got to keep the laws of the Most High gave to Israel. Amen. Them means of people are going to be dead. No, it's going to be billions dead. What you talking about millions? Don't take my word. Let's read some more. Who is overall alone blessed forever. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
not as though the word of Elohim has taken none effect, for they are not our Israel, which are of Israel. Everybody want to live this truth. All Zion won't tell a lie. Niggas out there right now barbecuing. Wash your car in summertime. It's a Sabbath day. No buy, sell, no trade, no putting no kettle to the fire. Niggas are barbecuing right now on the Sabbath. Israelites, blood down the descendants of Oklahom, Isaac, and Jacob. Everybody in Israel, can you get the name Israel? Amen. What do you mean? will tell them? He said, I can raise those stones to Israel. They have a we Abraham seed. He like, and you want cookies for that? Are you living according with the laws Abraham lived according to? Read on. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they our children. Uh huh. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. Genesis 21 12, Isaac birth. The most high time of the birth of the uh the seed we call Isaac, the spiritual birth. Now you know Abraham had plenty of children. Mm -hmm. For born with who? Ishmael. After Sarah died, he married some more. Had three concubines. Had children by them. All those children are what? Hebrews. Every last one of Hebrews. But the book says the seed is in Isaac who brought who? Jacob who taught to Israel. The covenant. It was the Israelites. Because everything, everybody came out the laws of Abraham is a Hebrew. Esau is a Hebrew. People won't hear that though. Let me say it again. Esau, our wicked brother, is a Hebrew. He's not an Israelite. Ishmael, that wild man, is a Hebrew. <laughs> He's not an Israelite. The covenant is given to the Israelites. Go ahead. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of Elohim. You see that? Ishmael his child. Esau his child. The mother children given after he had all the other children, though are his children, the most high children. The most high chose Israel to be his children. Come on. These are not the children of Elohim, but the children of the promise are counted for the seed. And the promise comes through Isaac and Jacob. Go ahead. For this is the word of promise. Uh huh. At this time will I come and Sarah shall have a son. Go ahead. And not only this, but when Rebecca also had conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, mm -hmm. that the purpose of Elohim, according to election, might stand. Not of works, but of him that called Before they either might we were born, before he exited the mansions, the Most High said, Israel, you my children. Amen. The red boy will have everything. You know them. The customer of Israel, the firstborn, get everything. They red boy. Can you imagine Esau was the child of from? <laughs> boy, can you imagine that he even was a child? Can you imagine that? But the most I read said that red man, no, that, that boy of color, before we was born, I'm gonna roll with them. I'm fooling with him. Come on. It was said unto her, the elder shall serve the younger. And yeah, boy, he hated to this day. That's a perpetual hate he got for us in Malachi. Come on. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Oh, now we ain't gonna put no racism in it. Give me that Malachi to the one. We ain't, this is straight scripture. We the chosen ones, Zion. Until you realize who you are, you're gonna forever be in trouble. The most high ain't chosen no other nation over you. He called you the apple of his eye, his fervent lover. The creator said, 
Now watch how much he loved you out of his own mouth. Read it out. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 1. Mm -hmm. The burden of the word of Yahweh mm -hmm. to Israel by Malachi. Come on. I have loved you, mm. said Yahweh. The most high said it, right? Amen. Go ahead. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? Ain't that how a Negro is today? You say, I love you. Like, you love me. What? Show me you love me. It's already said you love. Proof been proven, but you don't see it because you're looking for something else. Another direction you're looking for. What would the word say? Was not Esau Jacob's brother, said Yahweh, yet I loved Jacob. Mm. And I hated Esau. Hated who? Esau. And that word, hate a strong word? Amen. Why you hate a read? And laid his mountains in his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Whereas Edom said, we are impervished, but we will return and build the desolate places Thus said, now look at it here, boasting. We told down now, we destroyed, but we will come right back. We're gonna bounce back. We will build everything you told down, Elohim. Why would the both sides tell them? And build the desolate. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, mm -hmm. they shall build, but I will throw down. <laughs> and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom. Yahweh have indignation forever. Death for the summertime. Forever. Couple generations. Forever. The border of wickedness. That mind, man. <laughs> that people right there, that's a wicked person. No righteous thoughts. No righteous talking. Anything pure evil and that fake smile to give you, boy, before they blink two seconds, the smile may face already. The smile may face already. Is there already, it's already off? The smile around the face. The most I said wickedness in the nation forever. So why would you want to worship their Elohim? Because power and what? Imagery. Imagery got power in it. That movie Rosewood. She said she told sure as his eyes were blue. And she worshiped that Elohim. That Edomite. That's why the most I said, I can forgive you forever. You brainwash the people. You hate the people. The most I said, when the time of them getting punished was over, you kept going with it. I know it looks bad for you, Zion. You say if he loved me so much. Why I'm done like this? Because he cursed. Leviticus 26, Deuteronomy 28. That's why you position you in. But you need to repent and return to the covenant that produces the government. Amen. Return to the most high righteous of all such commandments that a man should live and not die. Get out of your own folly. Let go of the world, the things of the world. This wicked lifestyle the people try to present to you. Shut it away. Cast it away from you. And say, I want righteous living. He just told you. He do what to you? He love you and hate the other. The only Elohim in the whole world say, I love you. And he hate the other. Hate him. Back to Romans, main chapter. The book of Romans, chapter 9, verse 14. What shall we say then? Mm -hmm. Is there unrighteousness with Elohim? Is Elohim wicked? <laughs> Could he love you, hate the other person? Of course not. Read. Elohim forbid. Mm -hmm. For he said to Moshe, What do you say? I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. That's right. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. Come on. So then it is not of him that willeth nor of him that runneth, but of Elohim that showeth mercy. Go ahead. 
For the scriptures said unto Pharaoh, What it say? Even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Look at that. The Moosai said, I raised you Hamai up for one reason, one reason only. It's to bring you down. That the whole earth will see that I am the only true Elohim. Egypt was a powerhouse back then. Amen. Many idol gods they had. Ram, Ra, Numis. They had everybody going around with. Xerxes at all. And they were worshiping them. But the most I said, what we're going to do right now? I'm going to build you up for the whole planet to see you. And overnight, I'm going to tell you that you ain't nothing. That's right. But the world might know who I am. When we the women, they said, we know who your Elohim is. Your Elohim destroyed Egypt. That's right. The same thing we do with the heathens today. He just built America up just to destroy America. That's the only reason. He built them up just to take them back down. That's right. That's all. Because this so-called America is the powerhouse of the earth. The most I'm going to build you up. Uh-huh. But then you're going down to show his power. Can you imagine how the world feels that this so-called Negro is the one that most I love? Oh, but everybody on this planet, he loved this so-called Negro more than anybody? Other nations can't stand us. They know who you are. They envy you. Most I said, but you who I love. And I'm not being wicked because I love you more than anybody else. You have my eye. Oh, Israel. Amen. Read on. Love. Fervent love. I love that part. Read on. Hebrew. Therefore, have he mercy on whom he will have mercy. Uh-huh. And whom he will he pardon. That's right. Thou wilt say then unto me, why do he yet find fault? For who have resisted his will? Well, most I find fault. Who gonna resist his will? These details are. You know. Nay, but O oh man, who art thou that replies against Elohim? Uh huh. Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? Come on. Have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Now you say, Why some born this color? Why some born this way? Why some made to honor? Why made you this other? You just be glad you made the right way. You just be glad that you born Israelite. <laughs> he told the Israelites, don't worry about how the wicked going to perish. You should become concerned about doing what? Get eternal life. Watch the next verse. What if Elohim willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, mm -hmm. endured with much long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. They fit it. Huh? All them Gentiles who break the law, they vessels are fitted. They made for destruction. Jews are scary. Came and repent. The man was made to die. The most high, we were him. He was made to fulfill the scripture. He tried to repent, and he repented. He committed suicide. The vessels just made for destruction. The most high is a cheap orchestrator, illustrator. He do things where he want to do it. He wants you holy. You are best of righteousness. The only people in this truth who might have been drawn to the truth through the most high putting your mind to come to this truth. You got millions of Israelites right now on the world, on this planet, ain't thinking about the most high. 
Negro in China serving Buddha. Thailand serving no girl. Whatever geological location is, that's the God they serving. That's right. Because they don't know Elohim. They don't even consider the most high. According to the scriptures, Isaiah first chapter. Don't even consider. Don't even consider who he is. We're more considering about the TV show, cars at home. We don't consider the most high. Jacob troubles at the doorstep. We don't even consider. Don't you know that they watch a report on TV? No, I, I didn't know about this. My issue, look it up. My real. I ain't nothing about it. It's a food shortage on vapor formula in the USA. Now it's shut down. You're going to lie on that type about some vapor formula, the certain vapor formulas, it ain't nowhere to be bought. There's a food shortage on food now. Bills everywhere you go. Land went up. Promise going up. Housing. 3%, now 6%. If you buy a home right now for two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, your house is going to be twenty-five hundred to three thousand dollars. That's your note for a home that's two seventy-five. That's your note now. Three thousand dollars for a house note? They this a quarter million? And then they tacky look at houses. That's your note now. Wherever you lived at, if you were paying somewhere like an apartment, your rent was like seven hundred dollars. Now it's probably like twelve hundred dollars. They'll give you a five hundred dollar increase on that rent, or you go somewhere and you a tent on the bridge. My biggie, my people said, I'm just saying what society is doing right now. All this is done to bring in Jacob's trouble. Everybody, how did Joe Biden? He got to be in office to fulfill the scripture. Somebody going to fulfill the scripture? Obama did his job in office to bring in those fruity foods. Everybody in office got to fulfill the scripture. That's right. And we worried about anything else and consider who we are, knowing we the chosen ones, don't want to bring it in, still stuck in Christianity, and these folks doing what they want to do. Man, grocery, you're going to throw down $100, you're getting about two bags of groceries. You do good, you get three. That was the sales band with eighty dollars. I came out about three items. My head dropped. The chicken they try to sell you now is black, old chicken. We say old flesh. The fresh packs is in the store. The meat is black now. That's the flesh. Spoiled meat is the flesh they selling you. At a high rate. Sam, Walmart, Winko, go to stores at Walmart, have, sh- have shelves open, have shelves closed. Go beach side, you might see some meat sparingly <laughs> in section. But we worry about who will win the finals. Huh? We worry about how hot it is outside. Instead of obeying the scripture, most I told you to gather together, people. Gather together for this rock come in. It's coming in already. Gas prices, four twenty nine a gallon. In the South? Well, the oil refinery is it? We paying that much money for gas? This is the trouble of Jacob. But the blessing behind the most I said, yeah, you're going to be what? You're going to be saved from it. Amen. You're going to be delivered because we love her so much. Zion, wake up. We worry about everything but the right thing. These Gentiles doing their job. The question is, will Israel do his job? Will we be a light to a dying world or will we be consumed by this world? Read on. And that he might make known the rich riches of his glory on the vessel of mercy, mm-hmm. which he had afore prepared unto glory, 
Uh huh. Even us, whom he has called, not of the Israel only, but also of the Gentiles. Mm -hmm. Now here, Gentile represent also the Northern Kingdom. Can watch the prophecy. As he said, also in Isaiah, in Isaiah, Hosea, Hosea. Yeah. I would call them my people, which were not my people, mm -hmm. and her beloved, which was not beloved. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living Elohim. You see that? The most High come about the regular Gentile. In northern kingdom, that way he said, as it's written, he gave a prophecy. The northern kingdom was dispersed. Gentile, you're not people no more. Shout them no here, Romans. You got the same category. Want the you were never the people, now you can be the people. But you got to go to the covenants that was given to who? Israel. Come on. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel. Mm -hmm. Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, Lord, a mercy. remnant shall be saved. A who? Remnant. Small number. Though we be so many, the book said at the end of the day, it'll be a small number. Somebody want the rule out. Somebody want to still worship God with his stone. Somebody don't want to worship, period. Talk about Zion. Go ahead. For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness because a short work will Yahweh make upon the earth. That's right. It's a short work. Cause look, man gets 70 years after that is grace. 70 years in a long time. Think about this. 70 years? Dang, well. What's wrong about 70 years? We, we made for eternity. Think about that. Yes, yeah, so he run now 50 years old. In fact, they like they've been living for about 14 days. They're 50 years old. Why? You made for eternity. They ain't a long time. Seven years ain't a long time, man. Short work. Go ahead. Even as Isaiah said before, except Yahweh of Sabbath mm -hmm. had left us a seed, mm -hmm. we had been as Sodom and been made like unto Gomorrah. You said, except the most high was a small remnant, a small seed. We've been destroyed like Sodom and Gomorrah. We wouldn't know nothing. But Elohim always leave a witness. That's why you know what you're doing is right. Because a witness is going to be there to teach the people how to live holy, not to die. Go ahead. What shall we say then? Uh -huh. That the Gentiles, which follow not after righteousness, have attained the righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. Come on. But Israel. But Israel, mm -hmm. which follows after the law of righteousness, hath not attained the law of righteousness. Go ahead. Wherefore? Because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law. For they stumbled at that stumbling stone. Now you see the scripture already. It showed you. They can't do the law. They couldn't even do the law. You could, you had a law of sacrifice. You couldn't even do that. So the usher in faith, you was done already. You had the law. You couldn't even control it. I mean, all they do is keep be holding, bear a couple of offerings, do a couple of meat offerings, do a free drink offering. The most side said you couldn't even do that. But even the Gentile, by faith, he did hear the word and he drunk to it and do it. We got a problem with that? Next verse. As it is written, behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone, uh -huh. a rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Shall not be ashamed if you believe on him as the scripture say. Watch this. Romans 11 and 1. I say then, have Elohim cast away his people? 
Have Elohim cast away Israel? He said, Elohim forbid. For I also am a what? Israelite of the seed of Oklahoma, of the tribe of who? Benjamin. The Most High is still hold on to Israel. Because another nation here will just say Yahweh and come and come to the Most High. They don't mean he do Israel. Amen. The kingdom is yours. But you told to come up amongst them because death is coming and we don't want to hear it. We're the chosen one. The most high don't want us contaminated with the heathens. That's right. At all. He don't want nothing you do to similar or reflect to these Gentiles. Nothing. For your dress call, the way you eat, the way you walk, the way you talk, your face the prince, the most high don't want nothing these heathens got adapted on you. None of it. Don't take my word for it. Let's go to the scriptures. Give me Revelation 18 and 1. Right? This ain't my word. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 1. Uh huh. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven. Uh huh. Having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, What do you say? Babylon the Great is fallen. Who? Babylon the Great is fallen. We're talking about Nebuchadnezzar, Hebrew. Right. We're talking about this system they got. Amen. It's finna fall. This wicked government is finna go down. This worldly system by the drop. Look at that so-called, we call it Wall Street. They're down losing thousands of points now. Babylon Great is finna fall. Read. It's fallen. And it becomes a habitation of devils. Uh-huh. And the whole of every foul spirit. Every wicked thought. Look, we watched last night. It's something called LBTC 5C plus now. Something. These got all kind of names for the gay community. Then it got some kind of trans something thing. Uh, I, I don't know. My rib know what I'm talking about. I, I, we watched it last night. It just confused me. Then it got emoji with a man with a beard now. A pregnant man with a beard. Emoji. Every wicked thing you can just think about, compass your mind, this government system, this world system is doing it. They're doing it. Every foul thing, nothing righteous no more. It's an every foul thing. Oh, just guess I'm brought my attention in. June the 1st. Gonna be the game month. Every foul thing. They know them things go over there to Tel Aviv once a year. Over there in Israel, man. They've been there for years. They ain't their own month. This system is of every foul thing. Read on, Hebrew. And a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Now you look at the dietary law of unclean and hateful birds. They mentality is the same way the most high say. Come on. For all nations that drunk of the wine. Of Some the nations. All nations. A quarter of them. All nations. Every nation on this earth practice law breaking. Amen. Not one nation on this entire planet. Geological location, land mass, teach the law, statutes, and commandments to keep them. You have few people that's in a nation scattered abroad. And we are in America over here. Tell Israel to hold it. It's saying that every nation on this planet don't keep the laws. Amen. Find me what? Find me one solid nation on this planet to keep the Elohim law. I want to go there and visit them. <laughs> Read. <coughs> Hear me. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, mm -hmm. and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, mm -hmm. and the merchants of the earth are waxing rich through the abundance of her dust. Everybody trading. They're going rich with her fornication. The law breaker gets Elohim laws. Every nation on the earth is running with it. They're growing with it. Uh, Moses said, all I'm doing it. Yeah, we ain't doing it. Yes, every nation on this planet is law breaking. It's a part of the system. But he told you it's fallen. It is a part of every foul, unclean, 
Nasty, Cage, Animal. Read on. And I heard another voice from heaven. You heard another voice. Oh, let's see what this voice say. Saying, come out of her, my mm -hmm. people. Who? Come out of her, my people. Who people? My people. Who are his people? Yeah. The 12 tribe. I told you. The most high the more is doing nothing the other nations do. That's right. The first thing we do go get their makeup, they they uh they they system, man's get their hair, they never cut their hair off their face, bald heads. Put your shirt in your pants, tuck it in because they say it looks what groomed. Look, that's national dog. I gotta talk about this real time. It takes me off. Cut your hair bald. Shave all the hair off your face. Now you're presentable to this system. Isn't that what they say? A clean cut face man? Clean shaved? Now you're part of the corporate world? Tuck your shirt in your pants? <coughs> Can't wear these. Mm -mm. Can't wear fringes. Can't do that. Yeah, had to tuck in your pants. Can't grab a boy blue up. Put in your pants. Tuck it in. You look, you part of corporate world now. You look presentable. This is what your oppressor wants you to do. And we're doing it. A part of every foul thing they say. Every system they got, we want to be a part of it. The sisters want to die, they have blood. Leprosy. Go to your manifacts, your uh, your uh, your history, artifacts. You'll see none of that in the lineage of Israel. None of it. Mm -hmm. You don't hear about nobody painting their faces to Jezebel. And she went on Israelite. She was a daughter of somebody else. These ain't the most high customs for Zion. Zion want every custom but the most high custom. I said to testimony, sir, you got niggas walking around here, they doing butt hanging out in their pants down. What the hell is that? This what Israel doing these days. The children of this book, come another day should do it. All of a sudden, you see a monk by doing something, you won't be a Buddhist. You won't get the Buddhist stuff out of your house. Tell it's peace. You go burn a sage, man. Thing boy, like a like got 20 pounds of weed in it. Thing this big out there burning the house. Talking about sage release. Show me the book, the most I say, and that should burn sage for release. What is that? What the verse said, the most I say that. Only thing is ever burnt was incense. For a sweet savor to the most high. Amen. Israel burned no other stuff to the most high. He said rebellion is at the scene of what? Witchcraft. When we rebel in the eyes of the most high, he said you're doing witchcraft. It's as the sin, the book says, for witchcraft. He said kill all what? Witches. He said, and jealousy is cruel as the what? The grave. You got to go to your customs. They said, we're crazy because we got hair on our face. We're like, wow, man. The law tell you don't cut off your face. Don't mark your beard. Yeah, he been wearing gold teeth. That ain't the book. You're going to have a whole cup of beard. If you can't grow one, that says your flesh can grow one. He told you don't cut it. You want to go tea and keep the laws. If you grow a whole beard and cutting all this off just to keep this on your face, you against the law. He said, don't make baldness on your head. Don't cut the roundness on your head. That's the law he gave Israel. Leviticus 19. Leviticus 21. You can't cut to her off your head bald. He said, if a man go bald is in his head, he just got one in his head. Bald is in his head. You were told don't cut it off. 
Do what he said to Israel. First thing you do not cut out the hair of the head. Cut the beard off. Like a big old hair mat. The laws he gave up because we're coming out of Egypt. He don't want you looking like no other person. He told you, come out from them, my people. But what we do, we want to be just like a chameleon, like a frog. Every color we walk by, anything we touch, we want to turn right to it. They look at me, you listen. Eddie get around, he changed color, he adapt to it. That's what Israel doing. That's right. The more science said, don't do it, Zion. First thing we do, go do it. Don't marry other nations. Then you'll get two pennies in the pocket, go get an eating mat. Oh, yeah. He get two pennies in the pocket. He made a pros. He a celebrity now. He go get an eating mat. You told him to marry no other nation. The one, the black woman, she rebellious. The, the daughter Sarah, she talked back. Okay, and the book I ever told she cruel. He, it's scripted side cruel she gonna be. It don't it do not give you an excuse to break the law to marry a Gentile. You say that. That's right. It's no excuse to break the law. What are you saying in the apocrypha? He gives no license to do what? Mm. No license to sin. You can't use that to break the law. I don't care what she doing. You better marry the Israelite sister. And pray the most high, touch her mind, and get like the like you want her to be. According to the Holy Living, as she should be according to the most high law, submissive and humble, you better pray for that. Instead of going marry that Gentile woman and think you holy behind it. Come out from amongst them, Israel. The more sight says. Now we won't, we won't go to them. Whatever style they got, we want to do it. And we do it better because we Israel. Come out from among them, my people. Who is them? The world system. Uh, give me Proverbs 3 and 30. Come out from amongst them. Don't be partakers with them. But we run to it, though. We love them. The book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 30. Uh-huh. Strive not with a man without cause. Mm -hmm. If he have done thee no harm. Now we hate you. won't shoot for nothing. Tell me your shoe won't blow your brother's brains out. For step on her shoes, man. You get bumped in the store by asking about your brother, and he said, excuse me to you, you still want to kill him. And he'll told you, excuse me. You don't want to fight him. You want to kill him. Where is it what? Thank you. Scribe what? Not with a man without cause, if he have done thee no harm. What harm is that? Come out from amongst them. Your enemies do that though. They love to shed blood. Read the next verse, huh? Envy thou not the oppressor. Don't want to be like your oppressor, Zion. Stop going by these guys doing uh slacks and shirts and don't wear a pair of French now in your life. You won't wear French, but you wear their clothes though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You go corporate in a minute. One moving they, they houses, and once you move it, what they do? They move out. Yeah. They don't want you around a minute with it. I remember one time, man, I remember like yesterday. We moved to Florida, man. Jacksonville, Florida. And we sit in the neighborhood, man. And we moved in, the next day, we see like five for sale signs in the neighborhood. I say, Pop, man, what's going on with this, man? What's up with this? He said, that what you over here. When we moved in, they moved out. Put their houses up for sale. You gonna work with that Gentile. 
Go to so-called lunch with that Gentile. Hey, go to a bar with that Gentile. Get a couple of drinks. That's my friend. You move in, they moving out. They don't want you around them. Why you want to be around them for? It be not your oppressor. Come on. And choose none of his ways. Some of his ways. None of his ways. Why did they do Mother Day there? None of his ways. Don't choose none of his ways. Whatever he look like, dress cold, eating habits, he get dietary law. He don't want you doing none of their ways, man. Come out from amongst them, he just said, did it? Amen. Don't choose none of their ways. Why? For the forward is abomination to Yahweh. Because they're what? Abomination to Yahweh. Which means what? Against nature. They are against nature. It's against nature to eat a pig. Swine, they call it. Amen. Or hog, whatever you want to call it. But it's against nature. See, the shrimp, the catfish, the lobster. All oh, that's against nature. You're going against nature when you eat these things. These things were not made for consumption. It's against nature to eat it. The forward thing is abomination for Elohim. Read. But his secret is with the righteous. But his secret with the righteous, holy living people. That's why he said, come out from amongst them, my people. Come out from them. Don't be partaking with another man's sin. These folk worship idols. You're supposed to worship an idol. Then what they do? Every nation on this earth worship their own Elohim. No one served the great Yah, the most high. Come out from them. Why? When you're amongst them, you're going to get contaminated and you're going to start doing the things they do and get upset when you're told it's an error and showing scripture is an error. Because it's your custom now. You've been a part of it so long. You're used to it. You like it. And my grandma said, well, look, what am I tickle your fanny or something? You, you excited about that? <laughs> you excited about that? Law breaking the sex us now. Because we're never told to come out from amongst them. Revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, continuation of verse 4. Uh huh. Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sin. Her what? That ye be not partakers of her sin. What is sin? Uh, the transgression of the law. The breaking of the most high law, 1 John 3 and 4. You come out from them because they break my law. That's what basically Elohim just said to us. You come out from amongst them because they break my law. You don't be a part of them because they break my law. You won't be a partaker of their sins. Come on. And that you receive not of her plagues. Her what? Her plagues. Now we read Zachariah. We see one of her plagues. That tongue melting in your mouth. And your eyeballs melt in your eye socket. And your flesh leave your body before the skeleton hit the ground, he said. They plague upon the earth, that nuclear destruction. You come out from them, you won't be a part of it. When the most high attacked Egypt with 10 plagues, how many Israel were hurt? No. He had taken the land of what? Goshen, what was that? He didn't touch it. Burn up all Egypt around the land of Goshen, which is in Egypt. He didn't touch that. The country Egypt, Cairo, hell, Cairo, all they got to what? Bogosha? When the Negro was living there, the most high put that one plague over there. Except what? Their parents were deaf for a newborn child. The firstborn. Everybody got that plague because death came for everybody. If we come out amongst them, Zion, we won't have no problem. The problem we have in this, we love to be amongst them. We love it. We love whatever the oppressors tell us to do. We love it. The way they dress, 
the way they talk, the way they eat. We pattern our stuff. You got Hebrew sister talking about blood have more fun. Who told you that? You told your hair is nappy. Who told you that? Huh? Oh, your oppressor. Did he name your hair? You got E hair, or you got one hair, or you got hair two. How he named your hair for you? The most high told Israel, you got to come out from them. They brainwash you, man. They play with your head. He said, don't be with them. They are abomination. They don't believe what you what we're supposed to believe. They teach you. You got Hebrew right now on believing the Bible, huh? In the truth. Your oppressor that told you. Forget the Bible. Go with the Quran or something. They tell you, believe Torah. Don't believe the latter of the scripture because the Grecians wrote that. They call itself oh, uh, Torah based only. And all through the Torah, it prophesied by Emmanuel. How you, how you miss that one? How you miss that? How you miss some when we said, Yahweh said to my Yahweh, sit down my right hand, time to make your image your will. How you miss that one? How you miss Isaiah 9 and 6? It tells the child is born, the son is given. The government should be on the shoulder. Have many names. One for counselor, everlasting father, the prince of peace, the mighty Yah. How you miss all that when the most high told? Oh my goodness, man. How you miss all that? But you Torah based only. Moshe said, Deuteronomy 18, 15, 18, 18, they're probably going to rise after him. Him, you should hear. And talking about Yosef. And talking about Yahshua. He's talking about Emmanuel. Yahweh Shaham Amen. But you owe covenant only. My people, not the whole world. Should be destroyed for the lack of knowledge. No understanding who they are, who they are, even with a hair line. Come out. Zion, we are the chosen ones. We should do the world, do the world, should follow our example. We are the light of the world. We are the salt of the world. We are the priests of the world. The world can't show us nothing. Imagine my ancestors were here right now and see this. Shaul, Kifa, now how we living. They were like, man, this, this is Israel now? We knew the prophecy would come to the past. We thought some of y'all hold up. We just like got murdered, beheaded, crucified upside down to preach this gospel for y'all to hold on to it and did what y'all do in return? The children of this book, though. Children of this book. We got to come out. We chosen. They even love their lifestyle. Israel, we should love ours. They love their Elohim. The other gods. We should love ours. We should show the Most High. The Most High said, the only way you love me by doing what? Keeping my commandments. You, that's the only way you show me. A man can say anything. Show or tell. Show me you love me. Love is a verb which prompts what? An action. Most high said, show me. Don't tell me about it. Show me about it. You say you love me? Show me. Stay woke. Show me you love me. You know. For our sins have reached unto heaven, mm -hmm. and Elohim has remembered her iniquities. Remember what? Her iniquities. Remember law breaking. The wickedness. Destruction is coming on this planet. Whether you like it or not. You can't be neutral in this thing. You're going to be holy or you're going to be unholy. You're going to be righteous or you're going to be unrighteous. The most I said today, I said from your life or death. Fire and water. Or the man truly, what do you say he'll do? 
I'm going to give it to you. The book said, choose this day who you're going to serve. If it's seen right to serve the idol God, Yahshua says serve him. If it's right to you, I can't make you do nothing. And, and he said, but for me in my house, Amen. we're going to serve the most high. So we got a choice to make every day, all day. If it seems like you to keep some of the law, do it. If it seems like you not to receive the rock of Kodesh, that's what you do. Because it seems right to you, right? He said, but for me and my house, we're going to serve Yahweh. Because a remnant won't want to get in. The remnant getting in is going to be law keepers. Covenant keepers filled with the Ruach Hor Kodesh doing his law, statute, commandments that a man should live and not die. That will give you eternal life. Ah, give him Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, starting at verse 12. Uh huh. And now Israel. Now who? Israel. Now who? Israel. Ain't talking about no other nation. No other people, no other nationalities. He said, now Israel, the 12 tribes scattered worldwide. Now Israel, come on. What does Yahweh thy Elohim require of thee? What do the most high Yah want from you? It's a lot of things going on in your life. A lot of things transpired that you do on your own. But now it's a requirement that Elohim want from you, O Zion. But to fear Yahweh. But to reverence him. The Elohim. word fear means reverence. Uh huh. Thy Elohim. Thy Elohim. Go ahead. To walk in all his ways. Some of his ways. All his ways. If you want eternal life, you got to walk in all his ways. And one of his ways is tell you to receive the Ruach Kokodesh. To be baptized in water in the name of Emmanuel, Yahweh Shah, Hamasiah. That's his ways, Zaya. We always tell you, beginning of the broadcast, Acts 238, Acts 812, Acts 816, Acts 1048, Acts 195, Romans 6 and 3. These are his ways. You can't do what you want to do and say, keep the Sabbath day and keep the law of good. No. If you keep the law, you'll be baptized in the work of goodness right now. That's the law. To see the covenant and live and not die. We read to you before. Mark, the Gospel of Mark 16 chapter, he tell you, those that believe going to be saved. Those that believe not going to be what? Damned. This is his ways, Zion. Did what he required from you this day. Read. And to love him. To what? To love him. We just taught him to love him. How you love him? And to. You keep his commandments. How you love him? Come on. And to serve you. How was that Elohim? With all thy heart. With what? All thy heart. All your mind. Come on. And with all thy soul. All of it, your whole body, your mind. This is how you serve the most high. You can't serve how you feel based on how the weather is or what happened in your school or what happened at your job. It calls you to do different. No, your problems should never dictate your prayers. Preach it to myself also. Your problems should never disturb you, you being holy. We should never wear our feelings on our shoulders. We should get our whole mind and our body every day, all day, a little bit holy and keep the law. Because he told you trials are going to come. Amen. Test going to come. He said, blessed the man do what? Endure temptation. For when you try, you should see a, a crown life. So what you get upset when the trial come? Please ask us too real fast. Possibly. Stay right there. Huh? We read this the other day. We're going to read this again. It, it, it bow, it, it, I can't understand it for the world of it. The, 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 I mean, the, the, the mind of mind, the mind of minds and the hearts of hearts. Why would Israel have something going on? They like to go crazy about it. When the book warns what will happen when you come to the truth. Read up. Book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, verse 1. Uh huh. My son, if thou come to serve your house, prepare thy soul for temptation. If you do what? Come to serve your heart. If you come to be holy, if you want to be righteous, prepare yourself for a battle. 
You gonna lose the war every time? My son, if thou come to serve the most high, prepare thy soul for what? Temptation. It's coming your way. Junk mail. You gonna come. Prepare yourself for it. Come on. Check that heart all right. You got test <clears throat> problem down. We lose these tests and trial because our mind's not right. If we had a clear mind, if we stay in the word, we should. Some Hebrew right now in this truth don't read the Bible every day. Shame on you. How can you go one day without reading the scripture when you command to read it in the morning time, the evening time, and at night before you go to bed? That's a commandment. If you ain't doing it, you're breaking the commandments. You don't love him. Set your heart upright. What this word said, you reading it, you know it, then your mind focuses on this word, then you're preparing for what? That battle will come. Read on. And constantly do. <clears throat> no, have time to do. And constantly do. It said constantly go through it. Why? Because you're the truth. You live and hold it. Your hearts are right. These things gonna constantly come your way. He said constantly adore. Constantly go through the trial and tribulation. Don't throw in the town. Don't change your dominion. Why are you happy when the most high blesses you, but you're upset when trials come? Who was always taught back in the days? He the same Elohim before your trial. He the same Elohim after your trial. Amen. Your problem should never dictate your praise. Go ahead. And make not haste in the time of trouble. And don't make haste. Don't run away from your trial. Stand strong. And do it to the end, he told you. Go through it. What you running for? What was the word? We run for things in the world? Heck no, nah, we run to it. We had drum, we go to drum at. You want to box me? Let's box. And the truth, try to come. Meow! Boy, move fast and the speed goes up. That little break run fast. Speed goes up. Run fast as a road run. Boy, you can never catch him. Most I said, do it, Israel. Israel always run. The most I told Israel to stay. Israel run from test. Most I said do it because coming your way. And they can do about it. That's right. Most I told folks stay over there. Them niggas took off the rain. Most I said, uh uh, I want you to do this. But they be more than us. I don't care how many they is. I told you go possess the land. Did we not run out? Tongue tail. You had two Hebrews say, we can whoop them. Rest of them took tail and ran. Read verse three. Go back to that. Uh, that do run. Cleave unto him. Cleave me what? Hold on to him. Uh huh. And depart not away. And don't run from the most high. That thou may be increased at thy last end. So when the end comes, he going to bless you. Hezekiah, what do you do? Turn to that wall. Crazy, you know what I did for you. Was not increased at his end. Was not 15 more years added to his life. Deuteronomy 12, 10. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 13. Uh-huh. To keep the commandments of Yahweh and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. For your bad. For your good. The commandments are designed for our good. If you want life, you got to keep the commandments. The creator is already in the kingdom, his kingdom. He already got eternal life. He ain't gonna suffer no what? He'll make sure you don't suffer. You got to keep the commandments. He got kingdom for you. This earth, this government system, he upon this earth, you're gonna rule this earth forever. Amen. No nation gonna rule this earth but Israel. In Emmanuel, Yahweh Shah Hamasiah go have 144,000 righteous people to help them govern this earth. See, other nations got dictators. They, every government got their own, what, president, ambassadors and stuff. Somebody who run that land, right? The most I said, no, I'm putting 144,000 across the whole planet. All going to be Israelites. We'll have one king. Yahweh Shah Hamasiah. 
It don't make sure everything done right. Eternal government for righteous people. Amen. Go ahead. Behold, the heaven and the heavens of heavens is Yahweh, that Elohim. Uh huh. The earth also, with all that therein is. Come on. Only Yahweh had a delight in thy father to love them, mm. and he chose their seed after them, even you above all people, as it is this day. How many people above? All people. Ain't no person on this planet above you, Zion. That's why we said the chosen ones. We the chosen ones. We above all people. The world had that, man. What I mean, you go to those stores, them heaters already know who you is. The bro started like, look at this. Look at this Israelite Negro. Look at this Israelite. Got forever kingdom. Look at this Negro. They already know it. You just don't know. Put a dude in hell in you. Talk crazy to you. What they have to arrest you for beating on you? All the give y'all these false uh free cases and stuff. What they have to do that for you? That's why they feel control. You're gonna wrestle for nothing. They ain't control now. Because when you run a thing, you in control. They won't get some control. They said it's my government. I'm gonna lock them up for nothing. I'm gonna put them on Mr. Harass them real fast. They already know who you are. They feel empowered to bother you. Can okay, those guys short while, <laughs> short time, they're gonna have a little more room. That's right. We did the most high for you today. This brief was Sabbath day. Today, the most high bless and holler and told Israel to keep it. Never told you to go further every week. Never told you to leave the Holy Shabbat. Now, one scripture, the most high said, turn away from my Sabbath. Zion stay focused. We pray you walk in the spirit. You don't feel the lust of the flesh. And we always say to you, Israel, keep the law or die trying. Shalom. Shalom, Israel. Shalom. All praise, great glory, unto give that